A one-way slab is one of the major classifications of slabs in building construction based on flexural behavior. These are slabs that transfer a major portion of the incoming loads in one way and have an aspect ratio greater than 2. In this video we will discuss the basic features and structure behavior of one-way slabs. The one-way slab is defined as a slab that transfers the loads in one direction perpendicular to the supports. According to the structural code, any slab with an aspect ratio, length to width, greater than 2 can be treated as a one-way slab. In a one-way concrete slab, as shown in the figure, each suspended span is effectively supported on two opposing sides by means of beams or walls. A simple example of a one-way concrete floor system is commonly seen in residential construction, where we can see a slab supported on each end by bearing walls. Another, but slightly complicated example of a one-way slab floor would be slabs supported on beams. In a beam girder system, the slab transfers loads to the beams, which in turn transfers the load to the girder that is perpendicular to the beam. If the ratio of the long dimension to the short dimension of a foresight supported slab panel is greater than or equal to 2, it is categorized as a one-way slab. Here, most of the load on the slab is transferred to the long pair of beams, that is, the load path is along the short dimension of the slab panel. As shown, the load imposed on the slabs is transferred to the support, and then to the below structure. Under this action of load, the bending of the slab occurs along the shorter direction i.e. perpendicular to the supports. The structural action of a one-way slab under the imposed load can be visualized in terms of a deformed shape as shown. In a one-way slab design, the maximum bending moment is calculated corresponding to the design load, and the cross-section of the slab is calculated to resist this expected bending moment. Reinforcement for one-way slabs Based on the structural behavior of one-way slabs, the main reinforcement to resist the flexural bending will be provided along the direction of the span. This forms the primary reinforcement for the slab. In addition, secondary reinforcement is also provided perpendicular to the main reinforcement to help control cracks from drying shrinkage or thermal contraction. Hence, this particular reinforcement is called temperature reinforcement or temperature steel. For the design of one-way slabs in a slab beam girder system, structural reinforcement in the secondary direction is provided to resist bending in that direction, but less the main reinforcement along the span. While arranging the reinforcement, the main reinforcement comes below distribution reinforcement. This is to ensure that the main reinforcement occupies greater effective depth. One-way slabs can be designed efficiently for a span of up to 6 m i.e. 20 feet between the beams. In the case of one-way slabs, their length perpendicular to the span is unlimited, providing flexibility in designing open and spacious interiors without the need for additional support. This gives more architectural freedom. It is suitable for residential and commercial light construction where floors normally rest on walls instead of columns hence reducing the need for fewer load-bearing walls. One-way slabs are easier to construct, which can lead to quicker project completion and potentially lower labor costs. For more construction and related videos, subscribe to Civil Engineering Fanatics.